Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts. I'm all bundled up in my husband's sweaters. <laughs> okay, listen. This is Romans chapter 5, starting at verse 1. I believe it's 1 and 2. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Okay? Now listen, I'm going to stop there for a minute. The reason we're able to rejoice in hope and we're able to stand in this grace is because it's the Holy Spirit that gives us this grace. Okay? Now, when we're being justified by faith, that's like saying, if I pull a seat up behind you, and tell you to have a seat. Your actions are justified by the fact that you believe that I won't pull that seat out from under you. And you sit down. And you also are having faith, not only in me pushing the seat under you safely, but you're also having faith that that chair can hold up your weight and it won't collapse and break and you end up on the ground. You believe you won't be hurt. You don't even give it a second thought. Well, that is the same thing. If I ask you to do something and I tell you, if you do this, I'm going to give you 10 bucks and I'm showing you the 10 or I may just have it in my hand and you can't see it. But I tell you, I'm going to give you 10 bucks and you trust me as a person and there's nothing harmful. You might go on and do it so you can get the $10. Now, I could renege, right? But your faith is in the fact or your faith is in the hope that I will fulfill my end of the bargain. Well, guess what? That's what obedience to God's law is. When you obey, when you don't cuss somebody out, when you don't backbite, when you don't get argumentative and embarrass people in public, when you don't steal, when you don't lie, listen to what I'm saying. When you don't commit fornication when you so easily can and may even want to, you're doing it by faith. You're obeying by faith because what you're saying is, Lord, I trust you to come through on your, on your end of the bargain. I may not want to obey. My flesh may be longing to do what I'm big and bad enough to do. But because of my faith in you, Lord, and in your conditional rewards, I'm going to keep my cool, or as they say, maintain my cool. I'm going to keep my mouth shut and keep my tongue in check. I'm going to use self-control and keep my temperament mellow as a cello. I'm not going to act a fool or a butt out in public or make somebody else look small just because I can or just because I'm angry. I'm going to keep all that in check out of obedience to you. And that's where the word says, therefore being justified by faith, we have peace. Because that's one of the benefits, the fringe benefits of obedience, you guys, is peace. <laughs> I have asked the Lord, Lord, you know how ticked off I am. And you know I really want to give them a piece of my mind. But if you want me to shut up and you don't want me to fight this, then I need you to take the anger away because I am really ticked off right now. And I can really go off if you let me. But if you don't want me to, then I need you to help me by taking the anger out of me now before I go off and act a real fool. And I have literally felt him in honor of my effort to obey and please him. I have felt him literally diffuse the anger so much so that there was no anger left. Within seconds, within minutes. I don't mean 10, 15, 20, within minutes. And I was shocked that God would do that. 
And that's how I learned self-control. When I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to handle it, I would ask him to take all of that out and help me handle it the way he wanted me to. And I would always, every time, I would always feel the deflation of emotion and all that heat of passion just cool right on down as if it was never, ever there. Even though... I had the right to feel that way. It would be all gone. Now I'm telling you that to let you know, nobody has the can't help it. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, that's the grace. When he says, my grace is sufficient unto thee, guess what? He can handle what we can't. And he will adjust our emotional temperature so that we can handle it the way he wants us to. But you have to be willing to obey by faith, believing that as you obey, he'll make it easier and easier as you put forth the effort. Because it does take effort to keep your mouth shut when you feel like you have a right to blow off at the handle. There have been times I wanted to blow off at the handle, but I had to get all the facts straight first because sometimes you can blow off at people and you could be the one that's wrong because of something you heard through the grapevine, he said, she said, or you read something into what somebody did and it had nothing to do with what you're filtering. And you could be going off for no reason at all, making yourself literally look stupid in public. So when God says his grace is sufficient, trust me, depend on God's grace. Use your faith and sit down in God's power and his ability and the power of his might. Sit down in the Holy Spirit. And let the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide so that you can always come out smelling like a rose. Something to think about. God bless you.